tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate. Here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. Well, you know, after temperatures push 90 degrees today across a good part of the area, it looks like things may get a little stormy before the sun comes up early on your Monday. Basically, I think this really pretty much tells how we will begin our work week here in the Tri-State. With showers and thunderstorms, it looks like a wet Monday coming up, and there is the potential for some of those storms to be on the stronger side of things. Now, you still see tonight a couple of severe weather watch boxes with even a number of severe and tornado warnings in effect across parts of eastern Illinois, now moving into western Indiana. This line of storms will continue to kind of propagate and progress its way off towards the south and east as we go through the overnight hours. The one side note is I do think these storms will begin to weaken some. That said, there's plenty of heat, there's plenty of humidity around overnight tonight, and you never can rule out the threat for some strong wind. So with that being said, I don't expect a huge concern for severe weather overnight tonight. It will be one that I'll be hanging around a little bit later, monitoring at least for a few hours through the overnight hours. But the main threat posed from any storms would be the potential for some strong wind gusts with a few of them, along with the potential for flooding. Yes, believe it or not, these storms are going to be efficient rainmakers. As a matter of fact, most of the area could stand to get a good soaking rain. We need the rain. We're actually abnormally dry, believe it or not. So it looks like probably a good dousing of rain late tonight towards morning and throughout the day on Monday with rounds, at least multiple rounds of showers and storms expected to continue. So beautiful night out there, very summer like for Bunbury across the area. Temperature 79 degrees, still holding close to 80 with a mild southwesterly breeze at 8. Look at that dew point up there around 63. That means any storms, when they do get here overnight tonight, will be quite efficient at producing significant amounts of rainfall across the area. You can pretty much see where storms have and haven't occurred here. Notice we've got temperatures hovering near 80, kind of straggling the Ohio River, if you will. Then you get up north of Indianapolis, temperatures are in the 60s. So those storms are basically going to feed off this 86 in St. Louis, 79 in Bloomington. Still holding near 80 here in Cincinnati. That's kind of the juice that will keep those storms going to at least some extent overnight tonight. But again, the expectation is that they will gradually begin to weaken some. Again, I'll keep a close eye on this because there's a lot of heat and instability for these storms to work with over the next couple of hours. Either way, these storms will come through towards morning tomorrow. They'll leave a boundary behind that will help fuel more storms during the afternoon and evening hours. And even tomorrow, we still run the risk, especially along and south of the Ohio River for some of those storms to be on the strong, the severe side. And again, tomorrow, damaging winds would be the main threat. So here's a look at future cast. Here we are at 3 a.m. These storms just now begin to enter southeastern parts of Indiana. So Connorsville up towards Brookville around 2.30, 3 o'clock. And then you can see here how these storms try to weaken. But again, that being said, I'll keep an eye out for some strong winds as they'll move through the area probably towards daybreak. And then you'll see here as we go throughout the day tomorrow, while it won't rain all day tomorrow, there will be round of storms, I think one in the morning and then probably a second line of storms and these again could be on the strong side likely to fire sometime around lunchtime and then intensify as they drop south and east and we kind of keep the wet weather around through tomorrow evening. It looks like we get back into sunshine and drier weather as we get into the day on Tuesday and believe it or not we resume with our early summer like weather beyond the wet weather tomorrow. So temperatures won't fall much tonight. As a matter of fact, we'll stay in the 70s, and we'll only drop to about 70 for a low with those storms arriving before dawn. Tomorrow, showers and storms muggy. Bring along an umbrella. Because of the clouds and rain, temperatures will be a little bit cooler. Here's a look at your seven-day forecast. It's not a bad one at all. Very summer-like if you're thinking about hitting the pool over the next couple of days. Beyond the wet weather tomorrow, highs return to the 80s. We even heat up some towards midweek. Could approach 90 again by the time we get to Thursday, and those nights become warm and muggy. And right now, it looks like scattered storms will take us into next weekend. All right. Thanks.